dividing integers. We only have two rules in dividing integers. First one, the quotient of integers with the same sign is positive. Then the second one, the quotient of integers with different sign is negative. Example, 20 over 5 or 20 divided by 5. They are both positive. So your answer must also be positive. And 20 divided by 5 will give us positive 4. Second one, negative 15 over negative 3. So they are both negative. It means your answer must be positive. Whether they are both positive or both negative, but the same sign, your answer must be positive. So 15 divided by 3, that is equal to 5. And it will be a positive 5. How about this one? Negative 50 divided by negative 10. So parehas din negative, it means your answer must be positive. So 50 divided by 10, that is also 5. So we got positive 5. The quotient of integers with different sign must be negative. Like here, negative 28 divided by 4. So they have different sign. 28 is negative, 4 is positive. So when you divide them, 28 divided by 4, you will have an answer of 7. Then you will copy the negative sign. So it will be negative 7. Another example here, 36 divided by negative 6. So they have different sign. 36 divided by 6, that is equal to 6. Then since they have different sign, so your answer must also be negative. So we got negative 6. And for the last one, 56 divided by negative 8. So they have different sign. 56 divided by 8, that is equal to 7. Then just copy the negative sign. So we got negative 7. Let us repeat the rules for dividing integers. If you are dividing two numbers with the same sign, your answer must be positive. Whether they are both positive or both negative, your answer must be positive. While if you are dividing integers with different sign, your answer automatically will be negative. This rule of dividing integers actually is the same with multiplying integers. They have the same rules.